Greetings, artist. You need a sheet of paper, a ruler, an eraser, and a pencil. We will be using the inches side of the ruler, which is labeled inches. Be sure you're using the correct side of the ruler. You are going to use the markings on the ruler to measure off one and a quarter inch. I am pointing to that section now. Make sure that you start marking from the top mark on your ruler, not the top of the ruler. Also, label your paper with your name, today's date, and class period. After that, you will go down the left side of the paper and mark off one and a quarter inch. You will need to do the same along the right side of the paper. After you have marked off one and a quarter inch on both sides of your paper, you will need to connect your dots. Do this all the way down the paper. Make sure you mark off the section so you know which are your original lines. I'm now marking the space for one and a quarter inch. Next, I'm gonna mark off one, or excuse me, 0 0.125 inches, half an inch, one inch, and 0 0.125 again. I will do this down both the left and right side of the paper. I will then connect the dots all the way down the paper. Be sure that you do the same. Your next step is to label where you can write and where you can't, and what goes in each section. The very top section will be no man's land, and that will be the same in every 1.25 inch section that you have. Next is uppercase and ascenders, followed by lowercase, followed by descenders, and another no man's land. You will need to label no man's land down the length of your paper. Again, no man's land is an area you don't write in. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, see me. Thank you.